Hey everybody, Professor Davis here from ChemSurvival.com and the YouTube channel ChemSurvival. And today I'm going to explain to you why it is that halogenation of alkenes always proceeds with an anti-stereochemistry. Okay, so let's tackle this problem by looking at the simplest possible halogenation of the simplest possible alkene. And that is the reaction of chlorine gas with ethene. Now when this happens, just like in any other halogenation of an alkene, we expect to get a cyclic halonium ion, or a chloronium in this case, as an intermediate. And the byproduct of that process is the formation of a halide ion, in this case chloride. And those two are going to react again to form dichloroethane as the ultimate product of this reaction. So let's take a look at this ethene molecule and turn it in an orientation that's going to allow us to watch the reaction take place a little bit better. We're used to seeing it drawn in this sort of plan view for looking down on it from above, but I'm going to turn it on its side. And when I do this, the chlorine molecule in its reactive position, it will be somewhere around here. So what happens in this case is the pi electrons from that ethene molecule are going to attack the chlorine. And because of its polarizability, as they begin to attack the electrons on the chlorine a gas molecule are going to try to run to the other side to get away from the attacking pi electrons from the alkene. And this creates a dipole which ultimately results in the bond breaking. Now when that bond breaks I get a chloride ion, but I also get this really cool cyclic chloronium uh, intermediate. And it's got a full positive charge, but it's distributed among all three of those atoms there in that cyclic structure. And you'll notice that when you do this, that the chlorine atom that's part of the chloronium is perched on top of where that pi bond used to be. So it's kind of taking up both atoms, if you will, above that molecule. And that means that my chloride ion can't attack from that location. It's going to have to go around to the back and attack one of those two carbons in such a way that it breaks up that cyclic chloronium group. Now when this does, uh, when this takes place, that new chloride is going to attach to one carbon and the portion that was on the cyclic chloronium motif is going to wind up on the other side. And this is why I always end up with a vicinal dihalide when I try to add chlorine to an alkene, but not only that, it always is an anti-addition. In other words, the chlorines always come from opposite sides because the chloronium ion has a chlorine kind of sitting on top of where the pi bond was, which is blocking attack from that location by the second chloride ion. So now you know why you're always going to see anti-additions when it comes to halogenation of alkenes. That's it for now, guys. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this micro lecture, check out some of my other material on the web at chemsurvival.com, on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And some of these animations will appear in my new course that I'm developing with a teaching company at www.thegreatcourses.com.